My name is Alistair Hazel and I am the Operations Manager here at Derby Nursery Stock. Vine weevil can be classed as probably the most important pest on container grown nursery stock. The reason being is that the grub stage lives within the growing media and will eat the roots and will eventually kill the plant. Because it's within the root system it's quite difficult to spot and also to control. So by coming in early with treatments we should be able to catch those grubs before they're causing damage, uh, effectively giving us better control uh, throughout the season. I'm Jude Benison, I'm an entomologist from ADAS near Cambridge. So what we've been looking at in this research project is applying the nematodes through the overhead irrigation. So this is a lot quicker and therefore cheaper. We've been comparing a little and often approach where we've been applying reduced rate nematodes through the overhead irrigation every month for five months between June and October. And we've been comparing this with the full rate drench or with the full rate applied through the overhead irrigation. In last year's trial uh, that we did at ADAS in our research tunnel near Cambridge, we found that all the nematode treatments were equally effective in reducing numbers of vine weevil larvae per pot at the end of the trial. So before you actually use the nematodes, you need to work out how many packs you need for the area you want to treat and full details are given on the recommendations that come with the pack. So you need to keep the packs in the fridge until you want to use them and always use them before the use by date. It's important to use the whole packs, don't split them in half or anything because the nematodes could be unevenly distributed in the carrier. When it comes to choosing which nematode product to use, there's various ones on the market, but it's important to use one that will work at the growing media temperatures you have, not only at the time of application, but for up to four weeks after application to make sure the nematodes have time to work against the vine weevil. So in this trial, between June and September, we used a species called Heterobditis bacteriophora. Uh, the product we used was Nemesis H, but there are other products on the market for that species. In the October application, we switched to Steinonema krausei. Uh, we used Nemesis L. So to mix up your stock suspension of nematodes, first of all, you add a small amount of water to a bucket. Here we're using half a litre. Then you add the contents of the nematode pack and mix it into a paste with the water. Then you add more water, here we're topping it up to four litres, and stir continuously to disperse the nematodes from the carrier and disperse them evenly in the suspension. So it's important to keep stirring throughout the procedure when mixing and applying, because nematodes can settle out and you want to avoid this happening. If you want to make up a reduced rate, say a 20% suspension or a 40% of the rate, you just add more water to dilute accordingly. Right, so before you start applying nematodes through the overhead irrigation, it's important to remove all fine filters from the system. Uh, this is to prevent nematodes backing up behind the filters and blocking up the system. So then you set your dosing unit at 1%. Then you place the dosing unit feeder pipe in the bucket with the nematode stock suspension. All the time we keep the nematode suspension agitated to stop the nematode settling out. Then we need to prime the irrigation system to make sure nematodes are in all the lines above the area you want to treat. So obviously an area furthest away from the dosing unit, it's going to take longer for the nematodes to travel there than an area close to the dosing unit. So then you run the application for the required amount of time, taking into account the area you're treating, the flow rate, and the water volume that the supplier recommends that you apply the nematodes in. Here we're using four liters per meter squared because we're using Nemesis L. After the nematode application, it's important to wash off any nematodes that might be remaining on the foliage. So we put plain water through the system for about 30 seconds to wash any nematodes off into the growing media. Okay, so how do you check that the nematodes have worked? Well, what I suggest you do is um, knock out a few pots, um, mark any that have got vine weevil larvae around the roots, count how many larvae there are, and then 
about three to four weeks after nematode application, go back to the same pots again, knock them out, and count how many live larvae you can find after application. In last year's trial, we found that in our water control pots, we had about eight larvae per pot, but in all our nematode treatments, we had only one or two larvae per pot remaining after treatment. So what the trial has shown is that applying nematodes through the overhead irrigation using a little and often system is as effective as high volume drenches and can also save you money.